What is up, YouTube? <laughs> So clearly I'm still four years old. I was trying to get rid of these balloons and I'm gonna have to keep them now. But I was gonna throw one out and I was like, should I inhale it? And of course, because I'm four years old, I did. Probably a really bad idea because it made me lightheaded as fuck and I'm about to go for a bike ride. Since I'm taking today off the gym Friday, I think, I have no fucking idea what day it is. It's a day off the gym, I know that much. And because I never train abs, I decided I'm gonna use this quarantine to start trying to train my abs. So I'm gonna come home, do an at-home ab workout. I might film a bit of that. Some of you guys were laughing and enjoying those clips I put at the end of my last video of me playing Call of Duty. So I'm gonna go game a bit and try and like record that and get my setup right and play some of that. Probably not gonna inhale any more in helium today because I'll probably pass out. Also, saving the damn day. Just got an order in from Trifecta and my fridge is fully stocked full of good old meat and whatnot. If anybody you guys like don't wanna be leaving your home right now or a grocery store they're hard to find food or anything, it's super simple, you go online, I'll put a link in my description below and all you have to do is go to it, go to a la carte, you pick whatever meats you want, how much meat you want and you add it all to your cart and then they ship it to you whenever the date says they'll ship it to you and they're actually doing a sale that's been 40% off everything on the website just to help everybody out with this whole grocery store pandemic and people not wanting to leave their homes and all that. If you guys want to check that out, link is in my description. Huge lifesaver. I'm gonna go for this bike ride because I gotta get my ass back in shape. Alright, so just got back from a bike ride. First bike ride of the year. It felt so good to be back out there. I don't know why, but I just love biking outdoors through the streets. Like, I like doing on main roads. I don't really like kind of like back paths. I like ones like cities and shit. But there was like literally no cars on the road. It was like a weird, sketchy ghost town. So it was super cool. It felt like relieving to get out of my house, out of the basement and like do something. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of abs. I get a lot of people asking me what my ab routine is. And the worst part is I never train abs. I'm so bad at it. But I also don't have the best lower abdominal control. So I wanna start training a bit more to get better at that. And I've always been a, like, there's all this like talk of like if training your abs super heavy is gonna make your waist blocky or anything. And I think to the point of weight and stuff, you'll have to push it for your waist to actually get bigger would be really extreme. I just know I engage my core super well in compound movements I do, so I don't bother like training too much of the accessory. But that's kind of me just neglecting it. My routine is literally just random. When I look at abs, I don't think it should be something where you're like perfectly doing this crazy routine. I think you should focus on keeping it flat as hell almost pulling in your lower abs, not like pushing out your belly or anything, and just keep control, constant tension on them, and go through like a variety of motions. Personally, I like doing leg lifts and ab rollouts and planks the best, so I'm probably gonna do a little variation of all those three together today. Luckily, I have my own ab roller. I ordered this off Amazon, they're like $10. If you want one, order one. Keep it in your gym bag. And yeah, so I'm gonna get to it and train some abs. All right, so I'm gonna get into like a little circuit. I'm gonna start with the ab roller, and then I'm gonna do some like leg lifts with my hands hanging under the couch. And then I'm gonna do some knee lifts after, like pulling my knees into my chest, really focusing on, like I said, the lower abs at that point. And then I'm gonna try and hold a plank for like a minute. And I'm just gonna go through like four or five rounds of that and call it a day. What you gonna do? Play it back like a million times Because they know that you're the absolute The original
All right, so that's a wrap on today's physical exercise. Got a bike ride in and like 20 minutes of abs. I ended up doing five rounds of that little circuit I showed. And like, <laughs> that used to be so easy for me. I used to be able to do like crazy windmill things in the air hanging and intense ab core exercises. And that was hard. My abs were like pumped up and I hate, not a good feeling having pumped up abs. But clearly proof I don't train them enough. So I'm gonna hopefully get back to training them more. And like I said, you really don't need like crazy weight or anything, a bunch of supersets. Abs are something I think should be a lot of volume. Just really hard contraction, time under tension. A lot of people when they're doing weighted crunches, you kind of focus on the top few abs and not so much the lower, and the lower is what kind of pulls your hips in, can help with lower back pain, can help with deadlifts, compound movements, everything. It's kind of the whole stabilization of it, not just having like big upper abs at the top. So take that in a note, think about it when you're doing it, and maybe try out this ab routine at home. So I'm just thinking, I literally never do off-season updates, give you guys a kind of track where I'm at my off-season. And while things haven't like progressed a lot, I still kind of like hanging around the same zone that I was before, but I think I'm maybe a little bit tighter than I was the last time I did like a little mini physique update. So said, screw it, quarantine, I got nothing to do. Let's see what I look like. I haven't posted in a long time. I never post unless you guys see it. So <clears throat> let's see how this goes. Hasn't been like a super filthy off season. My abs are very shallow, but they always kind of poke through a little bit. If my abs ever disappear, then I'm doing something wrong. But I think overall, it could be worth right now for potentially unlimited days out from the Olympia. <laughs> I just sat down and watched back those clips after of me kind of posing and then talking after, and it kind of like hit me in the head, and I took in like two things from that. A, I looked at the video and I was like, not very happy with how it looked. I know I look good and it's cool, whatever. I'm not saying I look like shit, but not how I should probably look for me being where I'm at right now. And B, my mindset, what I said, and like not looking bad for un potentially unlimited death at the Olympia. That's like, that mindset right there is like how you start falling into like failure and like success and like not kind of believing in yourself and pushing yourself to your limits 100% of the time. And I've, I, I fully admit I've kind of fallen into that in the last couple of weeks in this whole like stupid quarantine and all stuff going on and not knowing about shows. And my life hasn't changed a whole lot to be completely honest. I don't work a job or anything like in an office that I can't go to anymore. I'm more lonely and everything. But like the idea of like no shows going on, like what's going on, no travel, nothing keeping me accountable. There's no show potentially at the end of the year like not knowing has caused me to kind of light off the gas a little bit like for sure. And probably only in like the last 10 days or so. But I've noticed things like I still eat the same five meals throughout the day or so. And then like the last meal, maybe I'm like, mm, I'm just going to have a shake and like a peanut butter sandwich. Or I'm just going to have a, a wrap or a sandwich with some cold cuts or something. Just keep it easy. And once you start kind of like, like this, <clears throat> I need to clarify this is totally okay for you guys to do shit like that, obviously. But when I'm like not just trying to like look good. I want to like fucking be two time running Mr. Olympia. That's not really okay. You can't, once you start letting off the gas like a little bit at that, everything kind of starts to crumble and starts to fade away. And like, I, I was just stepped on the scale even too and I've lost like three pounds probably, <clears throat> but haven't really gotten any leaner. Not really a good spot to be at right now in like an off season push right now. So it was definitely eye opening for me and good thing I kind of decided to make this little clip of the video. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's normal for all of us to kind of be feeling like this in this time right now, but it doesn't have to be that way. And that was eye-opening enough for me to be kind of be like, okay, yeah, get your shit together, get back to it. Use this as more time to be better when the shows do eventually come. Use this as extra given time. Use this as a blessing of like more time to do what I need to do, as opposed to like putting things on hold because Life doesn't get on put on hold and it's gonna hit you fast. And before you know it, once you start kind of letting off the gas, months will go by, you'll be behind and be playing catch up. And in the world of life, playing catch up never gets you where you wanna be. You wanna be ahead of the game all the time. So that's kind of, that's what I wanna be doing right now. I'm gonna start pushing and getting back to the grind because I'm going for that two time. I know no more second places. Two time, no more second places. And yeah.
They kind of motivated me to get in, get my ass in gear. But with that being said, <laughs> I got nothing to do for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna get all my meals in, I'm gonna play some video games, and I'm gonna fuck up the gym tomorrow. Let's see if I embarrass myself right now. Every time I get a good start, it's a bad finish, so. The most terrifying part of this game is lying here. Wait for me to kill you right before you dominate. No dominating for me today. Sometimes you just get real lucky and just feel good, you know? Thank God I'm not in a real war because God bless our troops. This is terrifying enough in a video game. My day has become such a simple routine. I wake up, I eat, I watch on YouTube, I go to Ian's, I eat, I train, I come home, I eat, I game, I go to bed. And I have never been much of a gamer. If you can't tell by my aim, my inaccuracy or anything, I'm never much of a gamer. And I, this is actually the only time I've gamed alone in a long time. Because typically I just do this to like chat with my buddies on chat. But they're not online right now, so I had nothing to do. Holy shit, he was ready for me. But yeah, I wanted to learn how to like three and record and do this, so in my test run, maybe I'll hop on with like Calvin lately, later and film some more. Respect to people who do this and like, I don't know who people are streaming if they talk or not, but it is hard to concentrate on a video game and communicate at the same time. <sighs> this guy and his little sniper right Oh! Didn't see that coming. I think I need to just like slow things down when I game. I'm too used to playing like adventure mode games where you just run into the action and like fuck people up because you're like a hero. But in these games online, you're not really supposed to just sprint in and get shot in the head every time. How did you not see me? <laughs> I'm just reloading, terrified, and he just didn't even see me. I'm such a little pussy in this game. I'm such a jumpy person, like I don't watch scary movies or anything. <laughs> so when I play the game alone, they like make me, make me nervous on edge. So if you're wondering, no, I would not be good in a real situation, anything like this. I'd be the worst. Be terrified. Shooting my own people, like that. <laughs> Not checking the corners. I know when there's an enemy playing, I'm fucked. Yes. I always think I can just go commando and just run at someone and butt them with my gun. Not quite the case most of the time. But I do go in strong. So much. I can't 
can't shoot that far.